Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my January favourites, my first official favourites for the first month of 2015. Wow, that is all I'm going to say and now I'm going to move on to the favourites. So I don't have too many favourites this month just because it's been ridiculously hot in Australia so I haven't really been wanting to wear makeup all too often so I've really just been liking to keep it minimal and really really light and just wearing mascara like every day to work. Mm. But when I have been wanting to do a full face of makeup there have been a few products that I've been leaning towards so I'll show you those today. Primer. I've been obsessed with pore perfecting primers. So the first one that I've been obsessing over recently is a new one for me. This is the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Oil Free Smoothing Face Primer for Sensitive Skin. I don't have sensitive skin but I did decide to pick up the white one just because I like the ingredients a lot better in the white one opposed to the original kind which is in the pink tube. Absolutely adore this and it seriously just makes your face look photoshopped. And then another pore perfecting product, this one's from L'Oreal, so a lot more affordable than the Too Faced one. Um, this is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Magic Touch Instant Blur, and there's 15 mils in this little thing, while there is 28 grams in this thing. In the month of January, I was randomly getting random like um, lumps and bumps um, around like this area of my chin would you call it chin I don't know but that's what I've been using this because it's a more dry based consistency opposed to this one that's super super silky and super super creamy um, I've just been applying this stuff just around here just to even out the texture on my skin um, just so my foundation would stick there and that's been doing the job great I've also been using it in my pore area and it looks fabulous also for foundation, I've really, really been enjoying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I don't wear this every day, obviously, I don't wear it every day, but when I have been dark enough to wear this foundation, I have been because I absolutely adore it. The coverage is amazing. And there's a ton of shades as well. The only bad thing is there's no pump. For bronzer, NARS Laguna has been the one that I've been using every single day. Um, I will still bronze my face even if I don't have foundation on just because I feel like I need it. So uh, yeah, I've been using this every single day. I love it. For highlighter, MAC Lights Capade. I have it on today. It's absolutely gorgeous and I also wear this every single day even if I don't have foundation on as well because I love highlighting and I love bronzing. A little bit of a random one, but this is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. Now I have I've been liking this for my face. I also sometimes spray it in my hair just to make it less frizzy, but I've been loving this for my sunburns. Guys, oh, like I constantly use this on my face religiously and I sometimes use it in my hair, but then January I found out that I love it for my sunburn. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. Oh, I don't even want to think about it, but if you are sunburnt or you're going into summer and you know that you're going to get sunburnt, definitely give the Mario Badescu spray a try. Um, it's not too expensive, like it's cheaper than the NYX finishing sprays. Um, otherwise, I would recommend just the aloe vera sprays. I love those as well. Sorry about that. My camera battery died. Anyway, this mascara. For the longest time since I've started wearing mascara, I've always curled my eyelashes because naturally I have very, very Asian stick straight eyelashes that point downwards. I've never thought anything could hold a curl. I've always heard that waterproof mascara holds a curl, but I've never been drawn to using waterproof mascara. I just don't think it's that good for your eyelashes, at least for me. So I just have never used waterproof mascara. And I've always thought I've just needed to curl my eyelashes for them to be curly. But one day I was applying my makeup and I forgot, um, well, I didn't forget. I was too lazy to go to my bedroom and actually get my eyelash curler. So I just used this mascara on its own and it made my eyelashes curly. Like it held a curl, it made them curly. And ever since I haven't been using an eyelash curler and I think the health of my eyelashes have improved immensely. Like they're longer now, they're thicker now, they just feel nicer now ever since I've stopped curling them. And I, I've just been using this mascara. Sometimes I use a second one if I feel like I want a little bit more drama drama. But this has seriously made me stop needing to curl my eyelashes. It saves so much time in my makeup routine. It's just great. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. So it is a traditional bristle wand. Oop. So it is just a traditional bristle wand, but it does the job. It makes my eyelashes curly 
um, I just put it at the base of my roots and then I wiggle upwards and it just it makes them long it makes them curled it makes them separated it doesn't make them look spidery it's great the only downside I think to this is that it does dry out relatively fast but I really don't mind for the results that I'm getting and it's so ridiculously affordable as well for cheek highlighting I've been loving the essence so glow cream to powder highlighter I only really like using this underneath my makeup I don't like using it over my foundation because I feel like it breaks it down but underneath it's great this is in the shade 10 look on the bright side and it's basically a white yellow cream highlighter it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it so much so for the eyes I've been loving using a green eyeliner this one's from Rimmel it's in the shade green it's absolutely gorgeous I love all the scandalized eyeliners this is the color of it here it's just a beautiful it's not bright green but it's a subtle green which makes the green in my eyes really really pop because i do have hazel eyes i have it in my lower waterline at the moment i hardly ever put anything there so it's really really rare for me to actually enjoy an eyeliner in the waterline i've absolutely been adoring this and if you have green eyes or hazel eyes or even brown eyes i would highly recommend this this is beautiful so for lips i've been loving two products this one is the NYX eyeliner, eyeliner, no, lip liner. I always say that by accident. This is the NYX lip liner pencil in the shade Mauve. I remember this was the first ever NYX lip liner that I ever bought along with, I think, Nude Pink. And I was like, oh my God, I hate that color. When am I ever going to wear it? This was like last year. No, 2013, sorry. It's this color here, but I've seriously grown to love this color. It's beautiful, I love it. It's affordable the only bad thing is you have to sharpen them but I don't care it's great I love it so so much and then also I've been loving the savvy matte ultra lip color in the shade lights dot dot camera it's what I have on my lips right now it's very very mm, Kylie Jenner inspired I dare say it's just a doe foot applicator Super, super pigmented, looks like that. The lip liner and the lip color complement each other really, really well. And I just really, really love it. If you don't like it to be too matte, you can always add a lip balm or a lip gloss over the top. I sometimes do that, but if I really want a matte lip, then I'll just keep it like this on its own. So yeah, that's all my favorites for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful January. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.